Hi, John Mark here with Catalyst Connect. This is going to be a quick video on how to add new fields, sections, and configure layout rules for uh, Zoho CRM. So getting started, once you are logged into Zoho CRM, you'll go to the top right and click on Setup. You'll then go through to the Customization section and click on Modules and Fields. You can then go into the module that you're looking to uh, make adjustments to. We'll go into our leads module. Now, within the leads module, or within any module, I should say, uh, you'll be able to see all the fields that are currently present in that module. Uh, keep in mind that you can organize your fields into different sections to allow for easy navigation on the actual uh, record itself. To add in a new section, you can simply go here to the left-hand side and click and drag over a new section. Uh, what you'll notice is there's a setting icon for that uh, uh, section where you can choose to have either a single column or double column layout. You can also choose how you'd like the tabbing feature to work, whether you want it to tab left to right before going top to bottom or vice versa. If you'd like to add new fields, you can simply click and drag a new field from the left-hand side over into that section, name that field, and then if you click on the settings icon, you can click on edit properties. And this is gonna be very important for adding fields that are going to be mapped over from the lead module to your account contact or opportunity. You're going to want to make sure that before you click save layout, you go into the settings for that particular field and you select the other modules that you want that field created for as well. This is gonna save you a lot of time as it'll automatically create that field in the other modules and do the lead uh, conversion mapping for you. You can also specify whether you want that field required, the character limits, and if you want to allow duplicate values or not, or show a tooltip. The tooltip is uh, basically a little eye icon that'll show up on the field in the record itself that will give the user hints as to what that field is about. We'll go ahead and uh, uh, quickly save this field. I also want to show you once you've saved a field, uh, you have the ability to set the permission for that field. Uh, as you may have found out already, you can create uh, various profiles uh, for different users that give them access to uh, different modules. Now, you may want to give a user access to a particular module, but hide a certain field uh, from them. You can do that by uh, going into the field itself, clicking on set permission, and now you can choose by profile whether you want them uh, to be able to read or uh, rewrite or not see that field at all, even though they may have access to all the other fields on this particular record. So it gives you very granular control over uh, what users can see and do with uh, both modules and fields uh, within the system. The next thing I wanna go over is layout rules. Layout rules can be a very effective way to streamline how information is organized and displayed uh, within a particular record. Uh, let's uh, go through a particular use case where you may have, uh, you may be a multi-product company where you need to uh, display certain fields for some products but not for others. In that case, um, let's go ahead and uh, create a dropdown for our product one and product two. And we want to configure a layout rule that only shows the uh, test field showing up if product one is selected, uh, but not for uh, product two. So what we can do is click on settings, click create layout rule. We can name our rule. We can then choose our field that we want to base this rule off of. In this case, it's going to be product list. And we want to choose the condition that 
when option one is selected for our product list, we want to show certain fields. And in this case, we want to show every field that's available. Oops. So you can choose to show as many fields as you want. I won't go through and bore you with adding in every single one. Um, but you can choose another option where it is option two. And now we can choose to show just a few fields that are pertinent to that particular product. So it can take some time to set up appropriately. Um, that's where sections can become uh, very helpful because instead of going in and adding in all the fields for a particular condition, you can simply uh, go through, and let's just say that uh, it is an option one. We can now also choose to show whole sections um, as well. So. What I would recommend is if you have fields that are related to a particular uh, product, you put those all in a section, and then you can choose to either display or hide that section based on the product that is selected. Uh, you can also choose, as you, you may have seen in that dropdown, uh, the ability to set mandatory fields. So if, option, uh, if the product list is selected and it is an option one, we can choose to set certain fields mandatory based on uh, that particular uh, uh, option. This can help with your data integrity and making sure that your users are filling out all the information they need to for a particular uh, uh, option that is selected. Um, I find that layout rules are a very effective way to uh, display uh, certain fields and sections uh, within the uh, CRM. Uh, for some clients that have uh, quite a bit of data, uh, hundreds of fields uh, on a particular record, uh, you may want to even create a navigation system where on the lead record yourself itself, you can have a section up at the top uh, called display sections, for example. And then if you'd like, you can have a little checkbox And uh, when you load the record, you can uh, specify that you will only display whole sections based on which checkboxes are selected up at the top. This way you can keep your user interface as uh, streamlined as possible um, without uh, uh, getting cluttered with uh, all of the information if uh, you very rarely access all this information and just want to be able to quickly see what's relevant to you. Uh, so those are a few little uh, tricks of the trade. Um, I would uh, more often than not recommend using uh, layout rules within the module itself uh, based off of fields rather than um, creating uh, separate uh, layouts. Uh, if you notice, if you go back one screen to the module screen, under the settings for the module, you can uh, create uh, uh, different layouts which are basically predefined uh, uh, sets of fields and sections uh, by product line, for instance. This can be very effective and an easy way to uh, configure different layouts for uh, different uh, product lines. Uh, but we find that over time, if you need to make changes to certain uh, dropdowns, uh, you'll have to make those changes in both layouts. And that can get a little uh, difficult to keep track of. So more often than not, it's easier to just create the layout rules based on field types as opposed to loading an entire new, entirely new layout from uh, the outset. Thanks a lot, and look out for our next video.